This part of the Giant Leap project is how to set up a template for the Windows X2Go client. About once a year, when the server software gets updated, the client software might require an update too. This video is about preparing X2Go Windows client software to make the user level installation as painless as possible. A trimmed down and partially configured template package containing X2Go will be created in a file called leapclient.zip. Create an X2Go Windows client template to match the SUSE server. Make user installation simple by pre-configuring all settings except server IP address and SSH key. Download current Windows client software from x2go.org and save the executable to the desktop. Click to start installing basic x2go client. Uncheck fonts and shortcut. We only need putty utilities, then next. Destination is c colon client template slash software, then next. We don't want any shortcuts created, then install. The install process takes about 10 seconds. Click finish and it's back to the desktop. Vanilla X2Go software is installed. Now pre-configure as many settings as possible for our application. Open a command prompt. Move to the C colon client template area. Erase the startup.wave sound. Remove the pulse sound directory too. Get the giant leap bat file from somewhere. Run giant leap bat without any parameters. Don't type user, just press enter. This is the X2Go user interface. Users will not see this screen. They will connect directly to one server. Session name is giant. We use SSH port 8222. Security key file will be called giant leap Dot key. We want a custom desktop. The command is gleep.exe demo. In the input output tab, choose full screen display. In the media tab, uncheck sound support. Then press OK. The screen should now look like this. Choose Options, then Settings. Choose the Printing tab. Choose View PDF rather than Printing. Uncheck Show Dialog when the PDF viewer is on. Press OK button. Close X2Go client, back to a command prompt. Type exit and press enter, back to the desktop. Open Disk Explorer and notice the client template folder. Select the client template folder, press mouse two, to create a compressed folder. Creating the compressed folder on the desktop is OK. Now we have an X2Go software template in zip file format on the desktop. Copy the client template zip file from the desktop to a server for later deployment. Clean up by removing client template zip file and associated disk folder. 
exit to a clean desktop and the X2Go client template only needs server IP address and SSH key. It's almost ready to go. The giant leap bat file is typically referenced as a desktop shortcut, adding user ID as parameter. When started without any parameter, the system prompts for a giant user ID. Given any non-blank parameter, the system builds a more complicated parameter to start X2Go. Finally, X2Go client is started in portable mode. Now we have the leapclient.zip package with X2Go Windows client software. It's a template lacking server IP address and SSH key. This file will be included in the Leap server master installation package, and from there, it'll get down to the user workstations. My name is Mike Gallitz. Email mikeg at giantdatabase.com.